Hello. Hello. We're back. We're back with Knee Deep. Um, right where we stopped last time. We just wrote our first successful article with this dude. Um, I'm very happy about that. So we have, just have to remember to just be inflammatory as fuck um, with the first journalist, uh, Phaedra, I think was her name. Let's see what happens next. Why are you hampering an FBI investigation? What? Oh, I forgot to Google belligerent. Maybe I should do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Uh... I think I've been played. You could go to prison and face a major fine, Mr. Bellet. What? I could lose my son. That'd be so much worse. I was a hero. I saved lives. I had a badge. It meant something. I used to matter. <laughs> okay, so he, I think, is the third protagonist. And he seems very melodramatic. I mean, it's even black and white here. <laughs> Times change, Monroe. Left small town Florida. Got a job as a Hollywood cop turned private investigator. Pissed off the wrong people too many times. Left a small town in Florida. Got a job as a Hollywood cop. True private investigator. Pissed off the wrong people too many times. I don't know what that accent was. Now, I'm back in Florida. Can't even hold a job as a mall cop. I'm so sorry. Whoa! Is he gonna chew himself? Chew? Parachute? Are you gonna parachute yourself? Yeah. Been a hard year. What if he just, like, what if he kills himself now? Can that happen? I wonder. <gasps> Still from the store, got laid off. Punched a customer. Uh, what's worse? Beefy Mart's going bankrupt. Tough times all around. <laughs> Beefy Mart. I used to matter. Not anymore. Not anymore. End of the road, Monroe. Who's Monroe? <gasps> shaking. Don't do it! Don. Blast from the past. Who's this? Is that a dog? Is that a seal? Is that a plane? Morning, Casey. It's a dog! Orlando. For the moment, why? Why would anyone shoot themselves with the dog watching? Or I mean, if you have a dog, you should just not kill yourself. Or not kill yourself in general. Like, hopefully. I mean, if you feel like you want to kill yourself, please reach out to someone. Just saying. Please do it. Got a job for you. And don't forget you feed your dog. Or seal. Oh my god, a job! A, a, a job? What's the gig? Pat Kern's dead. Killed himself up here in Cypress Knee. You're all stopping grounds, right? Mystery solved, sounds like. Red Eclipse Studios wants you to ask around and get a full account of what happened. All right. On my way. Oh, the dog is Monroe. I thought he was talking to himself and like, oh, baby, Monroe. What? I don't know. Monroe, <laughs> let's go home. Oh, he's so cute. I mean, I can't really see him since he's a shadow, but... He's probably very cute. Look at his ears. Yo, oh, you're so cute. He's just laughing at me. Bad dog. Don't laugh at people. Yeah, he's gonna do the rock concert thing. Oh, you should have brought the dog. It's a dog and actor. Home. I'd 
really sure what the word means anymore. But this Florida cracker town helped make me what I am today. Wow. So he's very cynical, I guess. A lot of the other guys belligerent. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's my hometown. So far, it doesn't look like much has changed since the last time I stopped by this moldy flea speck in the swamps <gasps> between Jacksonville and St. Augustine. He's so melodramatic and cynical. Doubt you've heard of it. Until tonight, at least. Thanks to Tag Kern. Tag yourself. I'm Kern. I don't know what's... Uh, I seem to be very excited right now. We've met. Welcome to Wonderland, I guess. Spent a lot of my youth here in the Digital Smoke Arcade when I wasn't dropping water balloons from that tower. Fun! The corpse might still be warm, but something tells me those vultures from the Church of Us aren't far away. <gasps> oh my god. If we're really lucky, Monroe, we'll get to see my old pal Gordon Cordray. A reward for clean living. Clearly, Monroe is the real protagonist in this game. Hi, Monroe! You're so cute! Let's get you something to eat, Monroe. Oh, he seems to have some leg problem, though. Come on, Monroe. You can park here. Ah, glad you could make it, Casey. Hello. Do we know each other? Did you, oh, was he the guy who called me? Oh, see, I'm so bad with the names. Sort of glad to be home. It's good to be home. I didn't realize I missed the stink of this place. Look at his butt. Woo! Yeah, I, I'm really excited. I don't know why. Let's make him the cynical dude, like super uncynical. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, yes. What is that smell? The swamp, right? Ugh, can't wait to get out of here. Let's cut to the chase so I can start the meter. Why does Red Eclipse want Kern's death looked at? Um... Look, the studio can't wait for the official police findings. Okay. Why is that exactly? A lot of money is at stake. Insurance claims need to be made ASAP. Frankly, we don't have faith in these Barney Fife types. Counters. World comes to a standstill if their ledgers don't tally. Okay, I'll do what I do. Send you regular reports. I just realized I forgot again to put on the timers. I have to check how long I've been recording. Uh, okay. There. Ay, 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 ay. Everyone should answer every question just because the dog is here. Ram it back, you didn't know the alien movies reference Joseph Conrad. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. You mind answering a few questions? Are those eggs or onions or eyes? Remy don't mind. Remy knows sometimes people not want to talk to Remy. I'm mean, not sure why. What can you tell me about Kern's stay here? You see or hear anything unusual? Remy tell Kern, Meacham sucked. Remy helped him get zero cabbages on stinkycabbage.com. Oh, you're one of those guys. I'm not sure that would cause him to kill himself. Anything else you can think of? Remy wonder why you working for Miller. Remy hear Miller. Remy know he lied to you. What? How would you know that? Remy, no. Remy, see Miller out in the swamp with golden cypress men in suits. Mm -hmm. What's that got to do with anything? Remy think Miller looked too happy in the swamp to complain. Good point. Miller wouldn't ruin $500 Italian leather shoes for no reason. Remy wonder why you working for Miller. I'm sorry, client confidentiality. Hmm. Okay, weird. 
You and Donovan go back a ways, I hear. <gasps> uh... Yeah, back in my Hollywood glory days. So you happy polishing old glories, or will you get back in the game? I'm here talking to you. The conversation is quite scintillating, I'm sure. Stop using these words that I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I should just have a translator. Bye. Listen, the studio has got me looking into Kern's death. You mind answering some questions? Of course. I just can't believe Tank would kill himself. He was in a good place. Someone offed him? Anything would be more believable. Tag had run-ins with some of these hicks. That burger flipper, for example. That reminds me. Any idea what Donovan was doing out in the swamp recently? I have no idea. Probably scouting shooting locations? Okay. I think it's time to make a report. Get paid. <laughs> Let's do this. Kern run in, suicide uncertain. <gasps> okay, we're gonna run and Dixon talk. Dixon. Dixon. Talk to Casey Gaddis about current stay at Cheese Rose prior to the actor's death. Okay. She never already told Casey that Kern had come in the locals before his death. Maybe he's edgy. He sounds very edgy. You think that's... I mean, like, if the other dude is cautious, then the other dude dead is inflammatory. He might be edgy. Maybe. Report number one. Contradictory reports. Uh-huh. Conduct an interview with primary source Tina Gray. Uh, subject's girlfriend. Source indicated subject had developed enemies with local individuals, specifically Remy Dixon. Source also gave conflicting information about Dixon's account of clients' reason to be out in the swamp. Expenses buy more tissues. What? Buy or blow? Blow more? Mileage, no pat. Oh, okay. Uh, what about dog food? Yeah, here. Um. Oh, so this has more... <gasps> so we get more money, the more inflammatory we are. Mm-hmm. Um... What? I mean... Should we even bring the... Um... Source... Uh, the client into this? I don't know. Um... Ah, I don't know. Should we just try it? I mean... Why not? We'll just try it out. Is he gonna call us now? Like, hey, what did you wait. Say? Oh. I know you. <gasps> Look at the dark Romana! Yeah! Uh... The eyes look familiar. Janelle Teague. Does that name sound familiar? Yes. Got hired to work a case a couple decades ago. She was caught up in it. Sad. That's my mom, asshole. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you still know how to make a good first impression. Well, thank you. Um... Maybe I had that coming. Hard at work, then? Yeah. Save it, Don, when Ro and I are on the clock. Keep up the good work, and quit ginning up your dog's expenses. <laughs> hire me, you hire the dog. Cold. Yeah. Exactly, look at him, he's so smart. He's basically thinking for us. Okay. Go there. Doot, 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 doot. Little doggy can't walk. 
So cute. Oh, is that the guy rubbing his Katie, man boobs? you won't believe how glad I am to see you. Really? You want us to rub your nipples? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say nipple on YouTube. Uh, I probably am. I mean, just not show them, right? Good thing he's in the dark. Um... I missed you, baby. It's been a long time since I heard decent Swamp Hermit crazy talk. I'm the only sane person in a world gone mad. Yeah. I'm here on a job investigating the death of Tag Kern. It's kind of a big deal to the movie studio. Who gives a damn about another dead actor? They're destroying Cypress Swamp. A lot of people liked him. Liked him? <laughs> I'd bet my house people barely knew him, let alone liked him. I'll touch base with you later. Bye. Oh, <laughs> took so long for the dog to get here with this weird leg thing. Okay, this time we're gonna go here first. <gasps> Ooh, look at her dress. Haven't seen you in these parts for a long, long time. Pretty cool. Do you see the post about me on Fan Rage? Um, hurtful bronis. Maybe now we can be cynical. Yeah, nice work finding the silver lining in Tag Kern's death. <laughs> Sad about the actor, but can't complain when it puts eyes on an important cause. You keep in touch with anyone else from Heck High Class of 84? Still got a few folks in town, sure. Some left and came back like Jack Bellet. You back for good? Um, maybe. Yeah, why not? Not like I've got pressing business elsewhere. Oh no, wait, we should have gone to the other place first. Oh. <laughs> Doing it all wrong. I'm the worst well, investigator. I heard you were coming to visit. But I scarcely believed you'd have the temerity to show your face. Dog, you should have warned us. Oh, finally someone says it. I'm shocked you know the word temerity, Cordray. Exactly, because I don't. I'm certain it would astonish you to learn how much I know that you do not, Mr. Gaddis. <gasps> oh, I don't know. I figure the church has its tentacles in deeper than the NSA. It's hard to forget all the damage you caused. A woman's life ruined, a successful man dead. Um... Gordo, your friend Conover messed around with an underage girl. I didn't cause the damage he did. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that, Mr. Gaddis. Count on it. No, I'll go back to that other place. <laughs> Uh, how am I supposed to know busy, these Mr. things? Um, hmm. Yeah. Just trying to survive. And people around you keep dying. Um. Just because I'm in the area doesn't make me the killer. Doesn't rule you out as a suspect either. Oh my God. Charge me with a crime or let me go. I've got rights. You've nursed a grudge against the Church of Us for a long time, haven't you? Um, well, they're dumb. So, um, yes. Sure, so what? They earned it. See? All this over a movie mogul and an actress 20 years ago. And that stupid test that made my game crash, so they definitely deserve bad stuff, whatever. No, they hit closer to home when I was a kid, bankrupted my dad, bled him dry after they told him he was a quantum. What's your plan after payback? After everything you've done? Are you satisfied? Oh man, I'm just getting started. He doesn't sound innocent when, with these things he's saying. A 
After Hungry Chiefs, I made my way to the Mohawk Inn for a look at Kern's room. Yes. Anonymous said I didn't know the full story about Kern's death. Figured I might learn more here. Wow, Mom, I was just thinking about you. Saw your post about Ty Curtin's girlfriend. So sad. It's such a shock. Um, yes? Yeah, pretty bleak. You never call. Um, my phone battery's dead, like, all the time, so... <laughs> um... I never fly like a pig full of helium, but you don't complain about that. Come home soon. <laughs> she didn't even mind. She probably knows us by now. Like, <laughs> um, I pretend the roads to California end in a chasm at the Continental Divide. Yep. <laughs> she just hang up. Like, uh, blah 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 blah. Bye. Okay, actually, the time is up. So, fifty dollars a night. No pets, especially ferrets. <gasps> Rude. And you have fish on the wall. Okay, but um, yes, the time is up for this episode. Um, I think we got a bit uh, further into the story. We finally met the third dude and his dog, which was awesome. Um, yes, and uh, I definitely missed something, but I mean, it happens. So yeah, we're just gonna end this here and um, see you next time, hopefully. Bye-bye.